Hey, Bill. Keep the 93 lumber. Back, coming back at you from a bathroom yeah. in Albany, New York, at, on location, Beer Tuber Palooza. And with Number me, three beer 2022, the third, oh, annual, yeah. the third annual, beer third, beer third annual, kind of annual. skip. Yeah. Kind we of skipped a year because of yeah. COVID, but yeah. Yeah. And with joining me is uh, Sean and Mike from NerdSense. They have a sticker on my glass so I don't lose it. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> We're hiding away from everybody. Um, literally in a shower. Literally. If you can't tell, we're literally in a shower. The beer is Zebulon. It is their original IPA circa 18, 1840. I thought there was a name for it. Okay. Oh, yes. original IPA <laughs> circa 1840. Oh, so <laughs> literally what I just That's said. That's literally the name. Yeah. So, yeah. So Zebulon, I guess, they, they do a lot of fun beers where they'll take a recipe from like way back when and rebrew it. So we just did one on our channel. Which was their like Russian Imperial Stout circa 1860 or something like that. I don't so know, yeah, as well, but yeah, they, so they, they're doing a lot of classic styles out of, out of North Carolina. It is 7.9 percent alcohol by volume, uh, and then it says one of the few beers that we repeat every year, and it is one of our most intense and challenging beers. Brewed with 100 percent Maris Otter, three teas, malt, and a huge amount of East Kent Golding's hops. 160 calculated IBUs, fermented with a Burton yeast, then aged in oak barrels with Brettomyces for a year. Dry hop with more EKG, East Kent Golden, uh, then can, and then bottle conditioned. So, yeah. That sounds... Were IPAs that heavy back in 1840? I mean, I guess they must have been to travel that far, right? I guess. And like Breath. even the bread though was was the bread a thing to keep it alive like keep going I guess yeah I would not uh, say, I would say this is probably not one that uh, good thing we're near a tub oh, oh we're good it's not we're good yeah. it's not going too yeah deep. yeah oh yeah it's it's a little bit but not a little yeah. bit it's, it's it's not a gusher not a gusher yeah it's more like a like a zit yeah or a zit <laughs> no 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 it made no <laughs> sense it made no sense I'm sorry what is a zit I have no idea it sounds like a spacey thing. On the toilet. I went on the toilet. I went toilet swirls. <laughs> yeah. Is this on the toilet? I'll find out. I'll double check if it's in the shop. This is this is how, no, it's not in the shop at all. Even the toilet. Put, put it on the toilet real quick? No, nope, not in the shop at all. It won't be in the shop. Oh, well, it's not in the shop. Sorry. Such is life. All right. So it is like a sort of pale gold kind of color? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, like a lighter West Coast style kind of IPA kind of thing. Maybe some floaties. Yeah, definitely some floaties. Um, yeah, yellow. The head is really nice, pearly white. Well, actually, a little bit of little khaki, a little little darker than pearly white, I guess. But it's in that realm. Yeah, my head dissipated very quick. So, want to get those? Like this isn't our channel. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Jeez. Oh, feel free to take over. Oh wow. That's yeah. right all up in there. Yeah. yeah. This this smells like uh this reminds me of like like a Saison. Or, yeah. Or some sort of like farmhouse. Just funky farmhouse? Yeah. Like so like is this is this what IPAs were back then? They're just funky. I don't I don't know. I guess. I guess this is what they were. Especially if they're doing with the bread, so maybe maybe the bread just just preserved it longer. But yeah, maybe if this has that like lemony, kind of like funky. I'm getting off. This is the wrong word for it. It's almost like funkiness of like parmesan. Yeah, parmesan. <laughs> it's not cheesy, it's a but little, a little bit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it smells really good, but it it's does. like it's sort of yeah. like it's yeah, funky and lemony. <laughs> It's almost like I don't want to say like like feet, but it's like a funkiness. <laughs> yeah, it kind of has that feetiness to it for sure. Yeah, like I mean, it, it, your, between your toes. That smells good, but it's it's, it's funky. <laughs> Let's do it. So that's it. Thanks for sharing, Keith. Cheers. Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah, and what a, what a nice temperature too. Perfect temperature. Yeah, yeah. and the funkiness. 
it's there, but it also the hop character kind of really comes through like like really bitter, like more like resin yeah. bitterness. Very like British British style IPA. Man, almost. but it seems, it seems way stronger than normal British one, as far as even oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot of British IPAs are like five four percent, but it's also malty as fuck. Yeah. yeah, given the nose though, I was expecting it to be a little more mm. funkier. But the funk is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. Um, I like you were saying funky, like that's a real thing, right? And, right. And, and it's weird because it, in the nose, it comes off more like Saison farmhouse kind of thing. But then it has that in the taste, but it comes off way more bitter. Yep. And based on the description, you would you would think that like the nose was bitter as well. But but it is in the taste. No, yeah, it's yeah. really, really drinkable. It's great. And for 8% pretty much. What did yeah. they, they use for, for the grain? I don't know if I, if I heard you. Otters. Uh, otter. Maris Otter. Maris Otter. Interesting. It's almost like... Completely. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's almost 100%. like um, those uh, old world style grains. A little bit... Um, what's the word for it? Like Spatzel or, you know... Uh, mm. Spatzel is well, Spatzel's that... Is that uh, the German... German... Like, um, that pasta, like pasta, pasta yeah, like but, potato but, pasta, pa- potato, like starchy pasta. Yeah, but I'm getting like, a little bit of that taste to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is excellent. Yeah, I mean, it has a nice bite, um, almost, almost, um, almost a little bit of grapefruit rind, um, but without the grapefruit taste. Yeah, almost a rindiness, um, but strong lemon. It's got like a yeah generic uh, citrus pith. Kind yeah, of thing. and it's very earthy too. Oh, very like, earthy. Like especially as as I'm talking, maybe not so much on the palate, but as I'm talking and as it's sitting on my palate. The earthiness really comes. Yeah, you do. You do get some grassiness. You get a little bit of almost that. Yeah, just that 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 woodsy kind of daytime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type, yeah. I, I, this is this has been so far the the shocker of the day so far. I've had some good stuff, but wow, this is interesting. Yeah, this is this is really fun. Zebulon, they make some crazy shit. And they make some very interesting stuff as well. They're a small brewery yeah. in North Carolina, and they just. Brew what they want to brew. They don't give zero fucks about what what the trends are. And open Saturday and Sunday. That's it. Yeah, it's it's, awesome. it's really good. Cool. I have a Christmas sale. I saved for a holiday special. Is that beyond? Mm-hmm. Might have to. You might have to come down for Christmas special. <laughs> Keith shows up. <laughs> Got a spare room. Special. Yeah, that's Got a spare true. room. Hey, if you want to share it, it's literally oh, just show up for the one beer and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm driving six hours back and forth just for this one beer on Christmas Dude, yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, I won't forget uh, this one. Oh man, kind of not what I was expecting, but like better than I was expecting. No, just, I, I honestly didn't think the bread would be that big. When you, yeah, I thought it was just going to be like a bitter kind of just like good, but just. Malty idea, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, the, the the bitterness is like bright. Yeah, it's bright. It's nice. It doesn't have it lingers, but it doesn't have that that dark kind of like to it. It's like bright and lively. Yeah, I I mean this is really impressive. Yeah, like when you showed it to me and I saw the the original IPA circuit, I was like, all right, if if if, if they're doing just like OG styles, I'm like, all right, see what this is. But then when you, and I, I didn't I didn't read the description. Then when you read the description, I was like, oh, I missed the whole bread part. Like, right. wow, that's interesting. Bread is a, bread is one of my favorite things, and uh, not because it's, it's, I always love it, but like the the the, do, the times I get it, which is not that often, it's just like it is just it takes certain styles to another level it does. in an interesting way that you don't expect it. It to. does. Yeah. Yep. And I should say this is original IPA circa eighteen forty for Wally Funk. I'm not sure who Wally Funk is, but uh, I. I do know that they seem to do beers for other people. And I don't know if every beer they do is for different people or, no. or, or but, but, um, yeah, this was super cool. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. I'm glad I did it. With, and I should say, I haven't had this before. I, I didn't have it when I was down there. Oh, or anything. oh they didn't have it on. I don't course. know if they did, but oh, I think I specifically that. didn't have it because I saw it in bottles. I was like, oh, that's yeah. Really cool. Yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense. But, uh, yeah. So I'm mm. going to share it with us. This is pretty awesome. Yeah. And now, and then we're going to end this and go share it with some other people. 
Probably not if we drink it all. Or we could just drink it all and <laughs> it never happened. Yeah. Well, this is a video. Like, <laughs> like, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> the beer sounded great. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is that why Keith fell down the stairs? <laughs> <laughs> this video gets like 10,000 views. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so yeah, any final thoughts or? If you can still get the spirit, get the spirit. Get the spirit. Oh, facts. Yeah. If, if, if you're in yeah. a brewery and they're just distribution zone, get the spirit, get, get Zebulon. They make really fun styles, yeah. like classic styles. Try them. Try them. Yeah. But don't get it if you're an IPA for it. <laughs> yeah. If you're it's, buying it for an IPA reason, it's not. Yeah, get it. If you're, like, if you're fan of sort of old world styles, in, in, uh, funk, you want Brett, those types of things, don't get it if you're an IPA guy. Yeah. Uh, West Coast or otherwise. Or otherwise. No, say. period. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for hanging out and, uh, Stuff. Beer and, uh, stuff. Beer can stuff. We, oh yeah, where can where can the people find you? Want to find NerdSense? We're at nerdsense.net, and we're on YouTube. You can just look look us up by that name. Um, we're on all the social media and everything. You can find all that to our website, but it, we're we're not hard to find. Yeah, and, and Keith at ninety three lumber. Yeah, and I'll put all the information down in the in the little description box thingy on the YouTube's and such. Just Cheers. thanks everyone for watching. Clink. Yeah. Actually, right, so we're we're all big on plastic. Oh, yeah. Their kind of thing. yeah. We're we're trying to be responsible. Cause, yeah. Because yeah, we break it. Break. Yeah. All right. Peace. Cheers. Yeah.